I think it was last Thursday morning. I've, I've been noticing a lot lately a lot more people having dogs in parks. And for 19 years now, I've been telling people to take their dogs out of the park since we have the signs that say no dogs in the park. On Thursday of last week, I went to Chartier's Park early in the morning. There was a lady with two dogs running loose. One was on a leash, one wasn't. Asked her to remove her dogs, which she did. I then went to McLaughlin Park. There was a gentleman with two dogs down there, both of them just running freely about. Again, informed him you can't have dogs in the park. He removed them. I then went to Cook School Park. There was a gentleman with two dogs in Cook School Park. He said six dogs in one day. I then came back and researched our ordinance because I've never cited anybody for having dogs in the park who merely told them to get the dogs out. Our ordinance states, <clears throat> under prohibitive activity for parks, no person in attendance at a park shall allow pets to run at large out of control. So that says you can have pets in the park as long as they're under control even if they're running at large, but we have signs that say absolutely no dogs in the park. Hmm. So I know this issue was coming up about the smoking ordinance and everything, which I have my own opinion on that. I think it's best to let it go away because no judge in this commonwealth is going to uphold that. Um, we need to decide what we want to do with the parks and dogs. If we want dogs in the park, should we have it regulated so they have to be on a leash and you have to clean up after them? Or do we not want dogs in the park at all? Um, there's pros and cons and different opinions on each side of it. Um, I think that Tom can probably chime in. If we do allow dogs in the park and have a very small child gets attacked by one, does that bring any liability on the borough? Um, but we have signs to contradict our ordinance, is what I'm getting at. And when I mentioned it to the other officers that have been here as long as me, some of them even longer, they were shocked to hear that you weren't allowed to have that. That you were allowed. That you were allowed to have a dog in the park. I was shocked. Mm -hmm. uh, we've, we've always thought for years that, that you weren't allowed. Well, there's two levels, though. On an ordinance level, if you if you have an ordinance that allows it, yeah, but council can, as a property owner, yes. prohibit it. But you have, and I don't know if that's how the signs got there in the first place. They've been there for you. Okay, so. As long as I've been around, there have been signs that have said no dogs in the park. Um, on a side note, while we're on the subject, we also had a hearing with the magistrates last week, uh, one of my officers, because he cited two individuals that had alcohol and were intoxicated in Triangle Park. The judge threw the charge out because she said we do not have signs in the park saying you're not allowed to have alcoholic beverages. So if they weren't drunk. That was a separate issue, but they were drinking in the park. We're not allowed by ordinance, you're not allowed to have alcohol in the parks. But she threw it out because there was no sign indicating that. So we might want to clean up the park ordinance a bit and decide what we want to do, how we want to do it. If we want to make it, you have to purchase a permit to have alcohol in the parks for a special occasion. But if you do that, you should probably not cause a disturbance, not be unruly. Yeah, I, I don't know. There's several <coughs> different options. But these are some things we probably should address in some way. No. For, for Triangle Park, all, you don't have to do anything with the ordinance. You just put signage up. Just like when they have the hours of operation and you, in order to cite somebody, you have to have the ordinance one, two, three up there, 200 fine or whatever it, the case may be. So, it, you know, but again, there's been times in the past where we've let people have alcohol in the park as long as they didn't create a problem. Should we have this on a permit basis where when you run a park, you have the option to get a permit for alcohol that can be revoked if you get unruly or misbehave? It might be something worth discussion. Yeah, I was Lori and I were talking about it also. Evidently, in Scott Township, they have a uh, what is it, Lori, like an alcohol permit? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, they have been called here too. So, no, like, is well, different than here, but it's not mm -hmm. yeah. They're not have another municipality that has one, and one is working on one right now. And actually, we just reviewed their one of their insurance policies, and the fact that you allow that does not bring liability down on you or operate as an exclusion because you're not considered to be serving in the act of allowing folks to 
have alcohol in your park does not create any exclusion on you. Call that. Does that refer to a dog bite also? We were talking about alcohol. I know that. But you know, dog bite. I think the same would be there. I didn't look at our policy, but in terms of liability, the owner of the dog is responsible for the dog. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, is that something we need to obviously sit down? Okay. Well, well, I'm guilty as charged. I've had communion parties, graduation nice. parties. Me too. We've always had a keg down there. <laughs> No one ever got in trouble. I mean, you watch it, but uh, maybe change the ordinance to allow, probably not allow in Triangle Park, because that's a small park in that picnic stairs. Yeah. The other parks, I don't know about putting a charge on it, maybe a small 10 bucks or something like that, but put on the uh, permit that you have to be responsible and uh, clean up any extra garbage or stuff like that, but you have to be responsible for it. And if they sign on to that, on the permit, I mean, they're taking responsibility. Now, I, over the years, I've never really heard anything about problems done with people mm -hmm. who are getting drunk and just cheap. I don't know if you could help me out with that. On occasion, people will clear up when there's alcohol, but that's been minimal at best. But I think we should have it addressed in some way so that if you do have a permit to have alcohol, you have to behave, you can't be unruly, you have to be 21, you have to follow the rules like everybody else. Just my suggestion. I don't know. Yeah, I agree with you, really. It's, I mean, we're not all having a beer, and more or less, you've got to keep in control down there. It's, it's a family park. All our parks are basically family parks. And, uh, maybe we can work something out. <laughs> Tom, Tom's will, he'll pull some ordinances from other neighboring communities that have. Yeah, we're just working on one. I just, I'll just send it to Lori to circulate to all you guys. It's yeah, basically yeah. just a little, and it's nothing extensive. It's just a one page app that adds an alcohol app yeah. to your regular rental app and then has some rules that go along with it. As far as the dog or animal situations, that's something we're going to address also it's like i said the signs contradict the order yeah, right. we'll, yeah. we'll look into that hit them all one swoop personally i don't have problems with as long as the dogs on the like right. on a leash and whatnot but i have seen people with the their trained dogs like they'll throw the frisbee right. they take off and whatnot stuff like that and yeah there is a leash so, yeah. so you don't have to do anything i don't know maybe yeah. just keep them under control yeah. clean up the mess and uh it's already true. But if there is a message. Just signs up and trying to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. The signs up and trying to for what? No drinking. Oh, not dogs. Well, that's what Joe said to, to have keep it in triangle part, but not the others, right? Yeah. Charters and block them. Cook school. You're talking about alcohol, right? Right. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Anything else, Joe? Nope. Right. So thank you. That's good. <laughs>